welcome back. Today we are moving on to part two of this cellophane tumbler. Today I'm going to add glitter and do the Milky Way portion so we can make a really pretty cup and I hope you guys like it. If you missed part one where I went through on how to actually add cellophane and get that surface smooth, I'm going to link that video right in the description box below. Everything I use in this video will also be linked in that description box. So as always, I appreciate you using any of those links and comment below if you have any questions. Let's get going. So in order to get the glitter on the cup, I'm going to do it on my turner. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know that that's not my preferred method to add glitter. But when we're doing this Milky Way style, I prefer to do it on the turner. So I'm starting with a thin coat of bright tone and then I wait about a minute to make sure it is all fully leveled. I'm using a really pretty glitter from Creepsakes shop called Cosmo and I'm going to sprinkle it on in a diagonal pattern. I've got paper under there to catch it and I'm just doing the best I can to get my cup covered. I actually went over it a second time to make sure that the line sort of that I'm using is fully covered. Again, when you do these Milky Way styles, it's a lot easier to do it on the turner versus holding it. So once I get the glitter on the cup, I let it spin for about 20 minutes because this is a chunky glitter. I really need to make sure that it is laying fully flat on my cup. So what I do is I take like an old gift card or you could do whatever sort of card and I tap it down after about 20 minutes. It just helps get all of the glitter fully flat. And then I let this dry for four hours. I keep it on the turner for about one and then I let it dry for four hours. I'm gonna take a makeup brush, just a little cheapo blush brush, and remove any excess glitter before I start my layers. I also decided that I was gonna seal this with E6000 so it didn't move at all when I went to put on Bright Tone. So I poured it into a little medicine cup and I'm just gonna brush it on. And I'm just brushing over where the glitter is lying. I let this spin for an hour and then I let it dry for a few hours before I start my layers. You can do multiple coats of this. And then you're gonna start your layers. So I'm just doing bright tone over the entire cup. Again, this needs to spin for about an hour and then dry for four hours before you can continue on. I did about five coats of bright tone every four hours before I was ready to sand. So I took a piece of 400 grit sandpaper and I'm just lightly going to go over just the part where I have glitter because I need to try to level sand this. I don't wanna sand over the bare spots of the cup. I'm just going over where there's glitter. I'm focusing on the edges and making sure my glitter starts starting to feel smooth when I run my finger over it. Once I'm done sanding, I'm going to rinse with water and dry with a coffee filter. And then I'm going to continue doing layers of bright tone. You don't want to skip the sanding step. So again, just keep doing layers of bright tone. And now I'm going to move to sanding every three layers. So for my first sanding, I wait five or six. And then I sand after that every three coats when necessary. I'm going to continue that until I have a completely smooth surface. Once it's fully smooth, you're ready to do the Milky Way. And to do the Milky Way, I start with a thin coat of Bright Tone over the entire cup. And then I'm going to do white and a little bit of silver for the actual Milky Way-ing part. And I do that in a little medicine cup. I'm going to use the Crystallac pigments. Number one is white. You can use um, universal white or 
the Flip and Awesome paint, or you could even use a little bit of acrylic paint. Just make sure that you have less than 3% by volume um, in mixed with your bright tone if you're gonna use acrylic paint. I'm also gonna use the Silver Liquid Mica. That is one of my favorite products that Crystal Act offers. They're so pretty, and I'm just gonna use it straight from the container. You wanna make sure that you stir it up really well. I will say that when you do these Milky Ways, you just need a little bit. I will say I used, I think, a little bit too much on this one, and I'm still super happy with how the cup turned out. But what you're going to do is just put a little bit on the cup and sort of in that pattern of diagonal. And then you're going to take your finger and you're going to rub it along the cup. And I'm not going to lie, it doesn't look very good <laughs> when you first do it. Like, don't be scared, okay? You're just gonna use your finger to sort of guide that white Milky Way around the side of the cup. And you can do this to be, you know, whatever look you're going for. I wanted to cover up some of the bare spots I had from the cellophane, and I wanted to cover up the edges of where the glitter were. That was what my thought process was. So you can always add more. And like I said, I used a little too much in my personal opinion, but it wipes off really easily as well. So once I had the white on there, I went in with the silver to give it a little bit of an accent. And then I took my finger to spread it around and I even used a straw to help spread it around a little bit as well. So you can see I have kind of a lot on there and I would say less is more. I even after this went through with my finger to remove some of the Milky Way you can see right here. I realized I had too much and I just took my finger and wiped some away. So I do like using the finger. It ends up, it looks bad at first, but it looks really well, like really good once it is dry and sort of levels itself out. Make sure that you let that dry fully. I usually wait overnight when I do swirls and Milky Ways. So once it's fully dry, you're just gonna do a few coats of Bright Tone over the top so it has that super shiny finish that we all know and love. Make sure that you're using just about two milliliters per coat and coating at least four hours after every coat. Right? Make sure it dries for at least four hours before you do your recoat. I ended up needing to do a little bit of a level sand. So I've got 400 grit sandpaper and I'm just very lightly doing a nice level sand to make sure I can get that super smooth finish. You may or may not need to sand um, depending on your cup. So once it's sanded, I rinse with water, dry with a coffee filter, and then do a final coat or two of Bright Tone. So again, you have so many options with these cups. The colors are so pretty. I love how it turned out and I hope this helped. Thanks for watching and make sure you join me in the next video.